Welcome to my class. Today I will be looking at Geography Paper 1 KCSE 2023 and in this video I will be looking at the questions that were tested in section A and their answers. But before that, if you have not subscribed, please do so so that you will be notified the next time I upload the remaining questions. I will also be looking at map work, question 6, question 7, question 8, question 9 and question 10 and I'll also do paper 2. So please subscribe. Section A is usually compulsory, carried 25 marks. Question 1A, differentiate between weathering and mass wasting. So here we are differentiating the keyword is a while. If you don't use the word while, you're lost. So we're going to say weathering is the breaking down and decomposition of solid rocks at or near the earth's surface by physical and chemical processes without movement or in situ, while mass wasting is the displacement or movement of weathered materials downslope under the influence of gravity. So here I insist the word while is very important. Question 1b. Identify three ways in which temperature changes influences physical weathering. Three ways in which temperature changes influences physical weathering. Changes in atmospheric temperatures are responsible for physical weathering processes. And mainly there are three. Block disintegration, exfoliation, and granular disintegration let us explain them so number one we can talk of block disintegration so we say repeated expansion and contraction of rocks in hot arid areas with wide temperature changes lead to development of large cracks or joints on rocks causing the rocks to break along the cracks and this process is called block disintegration number two we have exfoliation and here we can explain that differential heating of rocks causes the outer layers to expand or contract faster than the inner layers thus developing cracks on the surface layers leading to exfoliation you know rocks are poor conductors of heat thus high temperatures will cause the surface of the rock to heat up faster and expand while the inner parts remain cool as little or no heat reaches them then at night the surface layer cools and contracts faster than the inner layers. This heating and expansion followed by cooling and contraction is repeated on a daily basis and this creates differences in the amount of stress within the rock, causing a fracture parallel to the surface to form between the layers. With time, the outer rock layer peels off in a curved manner, leaving the rock mass beneath intact. So that is what we call exfoliation. Number three, we could talk about granular disintegration and this is the breaking up of rocks into small particles or grains and it is usually common in coarse grained intrusive igneous rocks for example we have granite so how do temperature changes cause granular disintegration so here we're going to say that in heterogeneous rocks Particles of rocks expand and contract at different rates when they are heated and cooled. This differential expansion and cooling causes stress and strain within the rocks and eventually causes individual rock grains to break off from the main rock mass. And that one is called granular disintegration. So when you mention temperature changes and physical weathering, then you must mention exfoliation, you must mention block disintegration and granular disintegration. Question number two, describe how a land breeze occurs. During the night, the sea is relatively warmer than the land since the land loses its heat more rapidly. The air over the water being warmer rises while cooler denser air from the land flows in to replace the rising air. This movement of cool air from the land to the sea during night time is called land breeze. Question 3a. Distinguish between weather and climate. This is another question that requires us to use the word while. So, weather is the condition of the atmosphere of a place at a particular time or over a short period of time. 
while climate is the average weather condition of a particular place for a long period of time. Question 3b. State three negative effects of desertification on the physical environment. Number one, it leads to destruction of water catchment areas and that can lead to shortage of water. Number two, it can lead to destruction or drying up of vegetation. Number three, it can lead to drying up of soils or even development of infertile soils. Question 4a, state two factors that influence river erosion. So number one is the amount of stream discharge. Of course, it has to be large for a river to be able to erode. Number two, the composition or size of sediment or the load that the river is carrying. The larger the load, then the higher the erosion. The slope or gradient of the landscape and this one we know it should be steep and then the rock type over which a river is flowing it should be soft for a river to be able to erode number four b name the three types of sand dunes we have barchans we have safe dunes also known as longitudinal dunes and we have the transverse dunes question five we have a diagram Figure 1. It shows zones of groundwater and we've been taught to use it to answer question 5a. So question 5a. Name the zones marked E and F. So E is the zone of intermittent saturation and then F is the zone of non-saturation. Question 5b. State three conditions that favor the formation of an Atesian basin. We have one, a permeable rock or an aquifer sandwiched between two impermeable rocks. Number two, a permeable rock that is exposed to the surface on one side or both sides for water to percolate downwards. Number three, a permeable rock or aquifer that outcrops in a region of adequate water supply, maybe a lake bed, in order to absorb water. Number four, the permeable rock or aquifer must form a syncline. That is section A. Watch out for question six on MAPAC. And later, question seven, eight, nine, and ten.